So today I'm making a humongous bowl of spinach. That's right, a humongous bowl of spinach. Actually, you'll see when I start cooking this how much it shrinks down. I'm making easy creamed spinach, and this is two and a half pounds of trimmed and washed spinach. Add it to a very large pot of boiling water, but basically the minute it goes in, it's gonna start shrinking. You can see it shrinking, right? You're thinking, what? No, you guys know about this. Spinach shrinks like crazy. It must be like 95% water. You could probably use frozen spinach. I would recommend like two packages of frozen spinach to replace this two and a half pounds of spinach. So that's it. It just needs to wilt down just a second. And what I'm gonna do is drain it in my sink into a colander. So give it a drain. Step back if you don't wanna get steam face. <laughs> ah! This is a very deep sink. But it worked, it worked, everything's okay. You can see already that it's shrunk quite a bit. I'm gonna rinse this so it's nice and cool. You can put it into an ice bath if you want to, but this works just as well, really. Now you're thinking it's like super duper wet, right? Well, you're right, and when you don't want it to be super wet, you wanna squeeze out as much of that liquid as possible. So drain it. Now that it's cool, what you can do is go in there and squeeze it with your hands to get as much of the water out as possible. And that's a ton of water, believe it or not. Okay, now you wanna chop it up. So here we have our spinach. You just wanna coarsely chop this. Now it looks like nothing, but I'm gonna make a delicious creamy sauce for this. So the sauce I'm making, normally for cream spinach you make a bechamel, but today I'm making a sauce that is like a bechamel, but the thickening comes from cream cheese. So this is a gluten-free version of cream spinach, which is great for all of you gluten-free people. This is half of an onion, minced, and four cloves of garlic, also minced. You wanna cook this until the onions are translucent and soft as well. So I'm gonna do that on the medium, medium, high heat, three to five minutes. Now you add your cream cheese. It's four ounces of cream cheese. You can sort of cut it off in little pieces and just stir it in. You can pre-cut it into pieces too if you want to. I like to sort of mush this up, get it sort of softened before I add my milk because then you don't risk clumping. But it's predisposed to be creamy because cream cheese in Inherently is creamy, hence the name. I can see that it's sort of combined with the onions, so now I'm going to whisk in my milk, and that is a half a cup of milk. Just gonna add it, then whisk. And it looks a little clumpy and weird, but just keep whisking and it'll smooth out. And then the recipe says to simmer this until it's thickened, but it's already thickened, so I would just say give it a little bubble up and let it get a little bit thicker. A couple minutes really is probably all you need. Lastly, a little bit of nutmeg, not too much. You want somebody to taste it and be like, hmm, what's that flavor? And not be like, whoa, eggnog. <laughs> so do that, just a tiny hint. Some salt and pepper. I forgot to add salt and pepper before, so I'm gonna add it now, just a little bit. Now all you need to do is stir in your spinach. Give it a stir. And that's creamy spinach. I actually want like twice this recipe. So start with five pounds of spinach because you're gonna want to eat a lot of it. It is pretty rich though, so maybe not. Scoop it up. It really looks like one serving. It's so funny, I just can't get over it. That was two and a half pounds of spinach. I'm gonna taste it for you because you're not here and I know you want to know what it tastes like. Mmm, wow. That might be the creamiest cream spinach I have ever had. And you're gonna think so too when you make this a double recipe.